What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Dej from Marie. For you guys that don't know, and for you guys that do know, what's up? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing great. I'm back with another video for you guys. And as you can tell by the title, I'm talking about some things that I know for a fact go to my 4C hair. If you're interested in knowing any of these little tips or tricks, you can just continue to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to just get right into the video. First thing that I want to say that I learned is to water your hair. Um, my hair is very dry. Your hair is kind of like a plant. You got to water it. You got to show it love. You got to give it the nutrients that it needs. So the first thing that I learned is to water my hair. I actually water my hair every day when it's not like up. I water it and every other day I put oils in it. Oil that I would suggest to try for 4C hair specifically is avocado oil. The second oil that I love is aloe vera oil. Black castor oil. If you don't have this, what are you doing? Everybody needs this. Natural perm, dreaded, whatever your hair is, you need this oil because black castor oil it is thick so don't put a lot but it like takes my hair from dead back to alive <laughs> another oil i love and actually really grows my hair a lot is a uh, wild growth oil and my last oil is almond oil i don't put it in my hair that often i like to put it in my hair while i'm deep conditioning because it's supposed to like stimulate hair growth and it's just really good for that and it has like a really strong smell so i like to be able to wash that out of my hair but this oil is amazing for real okay so what i would do um what i learned to do was every day i every day i water my hair and every other day i water condition and oil my hair so the conditionings that I use is Shea Moisture, the black castor oil one, the leave-in conditioner, and this is just a moisturizer sealant. I put this in my hair. So what I do is I mix these two up. So I'll water it, I'll put that in my hair, and then I'll put all those oils in my hair. I actually have it together mixed up here so i have a bottle like this and i just have avocado oil aloe vera oil black castor oil and wild growth oil i have all those oil in this and i just put it on my hair so again i wet my hair i put the moisturizer mixed with the conditioner in and then i oil i do this every other day and every day i I water my hair and I just put a little bit of oil. I don't want to put too much, but I just put like a little bit of it and I just like put it in my hair. So that's what's been helping my hair grow. Um, I definitely noticed the texture of my hair, how my hair feels, how flaky it would be. You know, now that I've been doing this, my hair, I have not felt it dry, like at all. My hair gets so dry, my hair gets dirty so fast, and I have not had that problem. So ever since I've been doing that, we worked wonders. And I also watched a YouTube video when I heard somebody say that if you're just oiling your hair, you know, it's never going to do anything. And that's what I was doing. I was just oiling, oiling, and oiling. And I'm like, why isn't my hair doing anything? It's because it's just like you're not having a routine for your hair. You need to wet it first and this and this and that, so... I found it out. So first I water my hair, I put the conditioner in it, and I seal it with some oil. So the moisture will stay in my hair. So again, another tip that I would suggest for you 
curly hair natural hair people is a good old scalp massager i got this off of amazon i absolutely love this thing i specifically use it when i'm uh, cleaning my hair out in the shower so when i'm shampooing my hair i just massage it i massage it i massage it massage it, and i wash it out and i shampoo again and i massage 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 and i wash it out i also use this when i'm deep conditioning my hair so i'll put the stuff in and before i put my cap on i just like to massage it for about maybe like five to ten minutes so i'll just massage 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 and then i'll put the cap on my head and speaking of caps i recently bought a deep conditioning cap if you can hear it <laughs> it has like little i guess heating beads in it um it's kind of heavy so what this is is a self-heating conditioning cap it's not that self-heating that's probably not the word but a, a heated a heated conditioning cap because what i was doing before was just getting a damn grocery bag on my head and boom that's that's me conditioning my hair but what i would do is i would wet my hair wet it wet it soak it actually not wet it but soak it and i'll put what is this this bad boy right here this whole line is my favorite i've been using this since i first went natural in like high school so this line is my absolute fucking favorite if you have dry 4c hair i would highly recommend getting this line right here because it just helps my hair so freaking much but anyways back to my condition deep conditioning process i wet it I put this in there and I put my alma oil in there. I don't put any of the other oils. I just put this one because I want it to work, do its magic, do its little design. You know what I'm saying? And then I will put this in a microwave for, I think I do it for like two minutes. And then I put it on my head. If you're interested in buying this little cap, again, I'll put it, the information over here somewhere and the prices. Um, yeah, this has been really helpful. I love to do this. I try to do this twice, excuse me, twice a month. So, yeah, I really love doing this. This is, this feels so good. I fell asleep with it one time. I don't know if that would tell you for my hair, but my hair didn't fall out. So, you know, we're good. We're good. Another thing is, I don't know if this is for you specifically, but my hair, I get dandruff really fast because it's so dry and just flaky and itchy that I want to get a good shampoo. I started off getting this shampoo because um, some video that I watched said to get it. So I got it, but I don't really like this shampoo. The shampoo smells good. Um, I feel like it cleans my head, but it, it never cleans it out like I need it to clean it out. Um, because it's a co-wash, so it's like a conditioner more than like a shampoo, I feel. so. If your hair isn't really dirty, then maybe you should get this hair. I mean, this shampoo. But my hair is no. So I recently got this shampoo right here. And I use it about twice now. And I love it. It's cleaned my hair very, very good. And I only, like, do it twice. So I do it. And I put it in my hair. And I massage it, massage it. Then I rinse it out. Then I do it again. I massage it, rinse it out. And my hair is clean, spotless. No little flakes, no little itchiness, no nothing. This one specifically said it hydrates extra dry and damaged hair. I have extra dry hair, so when I saw that, I was like, yes. So speaking of me reading the thing of the label, I would recommend you read every single hair product for you because if if the hair product says it's for coily hair and you got I don't know the loosest hair texture of them all is not gonna do anything for your hair so i would recommend to read every label to make sure that you're getting what specifically is good for your hair the vitamins i recently been taking biotin um as far as like this growing my hair i don't feel like it's specifically growing my hair but i feel like it's helping my hair grow if that makes sense i feel like the watering of my hair the oiling of my hair the moisturizing of my hair and the wild growth oil is growing my hair but the biotin i feel like it's 
helping. So if you just buy biotin and then don't do anything, you're, you're not going to see results, in my opinion, because um, I started off like one by one to see what my hair liked, what my hair could would grow with and when i was just doing the biotin i didn't see anything but when i took the biotin and i was watering my hair and moisturizing my hair and oiling my hair then i saw a huge like growth in my hair so yeah i got this off of amazon as well and i would recommend it because i feel like it does help but again it's not going to be the reason your hair is growing in general so yeah thing i would say is to Put your hair in protective style. This is not my hair. I wish I'm locking my hair soon. Stay tuned for those videos. But put your hair in protective styles. If you're a black woman, I'm pretty sure you already know that by now. But another thing is to make sure that when you're taking these styles out, to let your hair breathe. Let it breathe. Because just as important of it to be up, it's important for it to breathe. Because after you take your hair out, your hair is often brittle. It's often dirty. So you don't want to take your hair down, put it back up, take your hair down, put it back up because it's not going to be able to breathe. And you, I feel like that's where my breakage came from. That's where my dryness came from. That's where buildup came from. So let your hair breathe. Another thing that I learned through this whole process is to leave my hair alone. Sing it with me. Leave your hair alone. Because... It just needs to be left alone. You know how we like our alone time? How even your damn dog likes it. It's alone time. Your hair wants your alone time. Like, you don't have to be doing it all the time. You don't have to be messing with it all the time. You don't need to be oiling all the time. Just just see how your hair is feeling. See how it's doing. If you have a wig that you could just throw on top of your head, do it. If you have some little turbans, let me show you. I have a whole bunch of these little, little head wraps right here. Um... I wore this on my head for like two weeks before I put this in my hair because I wanted my hair to breathe. So what I would do is I would go to work. I work about eight, 10 hours a day. So I would go to work with this on my head and I would come home and I would take my hair out and I would just let it breathe. And I would go back to work and do the same thing. And I feel like that's where my hair grew a lot because I'm going to try to keep like a little update on how my hair is, but I've been recently... I recently within the past year cut my hair really really short and I was doing that consistently but then I wanted to grow it back now I'm growing it back for dreads but within that whole process the back of my hair which I can now grab y'all it is up in a braid I couldn't even grab it okay let's say that again I couldn't even grab it it was nippity naps back there but now it's in a braid you see that it's do you see that it's braided okay so shit what was i saying i got any hd <laughs> but anyways now i can braid my hair in the back and the middle of my hair fell out um it was a mixture of me pulling it out a mixture of me doing too much of my hair i want and the mixture of i don't know what the fuck happened so yeah the middle of my hair was gone now it's going back i can pull on that the middle the middle of my hair now so in no time i know it will grow i'm not worried about it at all because i've been doing so good with my hair and i'm so proud of myself so yeah you guys and i would just say don't get discouraged our hair is beautiful and i would say just find stuff that works for you don't listen to all these people it's been like oh this grew my hair oh that grew my hair just try it out and see what works for you because i had a lot of trial and error i have so many hair products that i have bought and i don't like this for example and it was okay you know it's okay to get something wrong that's how you have to learn how to do it right you know what i'm saying so yeah <laughs> y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn your notification bell on so you are notified every time i post and yeah, y'all stay safe out here. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay beautiful. And I love you guys. Bye.